The Bengals are much improved in 2021, but they should continue to be aggressive. Hi again, everyone. I'm James Rapine with allbengals.com and Cincinnati Bengals Talk. And look, I get it. Four and two for the first time since 2018. Matched last season's win total in just six weeks. Zach Taylor flying high. This Bengals team flying high going into a huge matchup with first place on the line in not only the AFC North, but potentially the AFC is the Baltimore Ravens right now at five and one atop the conference. And the Bengals have a chance to knock them off their perch. They haven't beat the Ravens since 2018. But this isn't about that. This is about the Bengals improving in areas that they should try to upgrade before the trade deadline, before the dust settles in. One of them is pass rush. The Bengals pass rush is much better than it was last year when they finished with a league worth 17 sacks. They have 14 sacks. They're ninth in the NFL this year. Trey Hendrickson is a grown man. But with Joseph Osai injured and Sam Hubbard, not really a pass rusher, more of a, an edge that's pretty good against the, you know, rushing attacks and slowing down running backs. They need some help. They need another edge rusher. And that's why when news broke on Monday night about Whitney Merciless, I wrote about him right away at allbengals.com, and I'm talking about him right now on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. The Bengals should go after Whitney Merciless. He's set to be released later today, and I wouldn't even wait until then. If I'm the Bengals, I would give up a late-round pick and secure the veteran. He's 31 years old, and let's take a look at some of his stats because outside of Trey Hendrickson, I get it. The Bengals on the inside of their defensive line, they have guys like B.J. Hill and D.J. Reader, and they have that. But at edge, it's Cam Sample and Sam Hubbard. And they're going to get Khalid Kareem back, but he hasn't played a game this year. And he's a fifth-round pick that you can't bank on. You know what I can bank on? This right here. Look at these stats and this graphic, courtesy of Pro Football Reference. A 10-year veteran in Whitney Merciless. Six games this year, made two starts, has three sacks already for a Houston team that, let's be honest, is awful. Has played at least 13 games in all but one season of his career. Has at least four sacks in all but one season of his career. And his career high, you look there, back in 2015, 12 sacks. But this is an experienced player and someone that the Bengals could absolutely use as part of their rotation. And we just see how much depth is important, right? It, Trey Hendrickson, if you had a guy like Whitney Merciless, who's proven, who's played in big games, who's played in playoff games, it's huge. So I would be willing to give up a fifth, sixth rounder for him. Maybe a seventh gets it done. The, the team that does trade for Merciless, assuming the Texans do trade him, would have to pay him around $3 million for the rest of the season. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, considering it's a guy who's going to be a part of your edge rotation and someone with his pedigree at this stage of the season. Who knows who else is going to be available ahead of that trade deadline in early November? It's November 2nd. Merciless is available now. And so if I'm the Bengals, I'm aggressive, and I say, hey, I'll pay you $3 million to play 13 games for us and, and rush Lamar Jackson and help us get after Patrick Mahomes later in the season and Baker Mayfield in Week 9 and all the quarterbacks – the Bengals are going to face this season at the same time. If he's available and hits free agency, you know, you're, you might have to sign him to something like that anyway to beat out teams like the Chiefs and other contenders that are going to go after him. So I would part with a late round pick, bring in Whitney Merciless, add him to the rotation because the Bengals defense, they've been great so far this year. Exceeded my expectations, probably exceeded your expectations. And adding a key piece like Merciless could continue to advance and move them up in the rankings as they try to make opposing quarterbacks feel their wrath. Quick reminder that we are going to go live today at 345 on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. That is Tuesday, 345. We'll talk about Whitney Merciless. We'll talk about the Bengals-Ravens matchup, how they're going to fare against Lamar Jackson in Baltimore on Sunday, and so much more. So ring the bell to get notified when we go live. And come in, join us, ask some questions, and who knows, maybe it'll be uh, a little breaking news if the Bengals can pull it off and land Whitney Merciless. So hit that subscribe button. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. I'm James Erpine signing off right here from Rapine Manor.